Hello, hi children. Welcome back to another recorded class. Okay. Are you happy children? Yes, I hope so. You are happy. I think that last, after the last class, you have read the textbooks three times. Isn't it? I told you last class, you must read the textbook three times. While reading, if you find any difficult words, you can find out the meanings from the dictionary. I hope you have done all these activities at home. Okay. So, last class, what we have learned? Yeah, about Patrick and his blessing. Who came there to help Patrick? An elf. Okay. So, we introduced elf, his dressing, his way of talking, his behavior, everything we discuss now. So, once again, let's take a few minutes to review what we have learned in the last class. Okay. So, who was our hero? Patrick. How was he? He was a lazy boy. He hated homework. So, once he saw his cat was playing with an elf. So, he tried to save that man from the cat. So, what did the elf say? Offer? Elf offered. If you save me from the cat, I will do anything for you. That's the offer. That's the promise Elf gave to Patrick. So what did Patrick say? Patrick said that he wanted to, the Elf wanted to do all his homeworks throughout the semester. That is 35 days. So he will get A grades to all the subjects. That is the demand Patrick put forward. Okay. So, all of you take your textbook. Page number 9. Page number 9. So, our last class we have finished up to 5th passage. Okay. So, let us continue the second part of 5th. Page number 9, second passage. I don't know this word. The elf skewed. So, the elf started to do his homework. Then, what was the trouble came there? Yeah, elf didn't know anything. So, he called Patrick and asked him to help in his studies, in his homework. I don't know this word. Elf started saying, the elf skewed. What do you mean by skewed? A new term for you. Skewed. Make a large, sharp cry. That means making a huge voice. Skewed. S Q U E A K E D. Skewed means made a sharp cry. Made a sharp cry. He skewed. That means he shouted loudly. I don't know. I don't know this word. Get me a dictionary. Now, what's even better? Look up the word and sound it out by each letter. What did he say? L said Patrick. First of all, you bring a dictionary. We also do like that. If we don't know a word's meaning, what will we do? We take the dictionary, find out the meaning and the word from the dictionary. Like that, here Elf also demanded Patrick to bring the dictionary. First of all, he said that, give me a dictionary. Then later, what Elf said? He said that, no, it's better you, Patrick, to find out the word from the dictionary. And it sound, that means how it pronounced. The pronunciation also you should find out from the dictionary. Now our Patrick, poor Patrick, he was in trouble. So this is the case for English. While doing English homework, Patrick had to face this. Got it? So let's move to the next passage. When it came to Max, the other subject, Patrick was out of luck. That means here also he didn't get a support. What are timetables? 
the yell shrieked the same meaning skewed and shrieked the same meaning shall shriek s h r i e k e d same meaning made sharply that means here again our l started making a loud noise what is ten table tables multiplication addition he didn't know anything else we else never need that we don't want to learn all these things so what is this when they came to max problem so all of you turn over the page next passage and addition and subtraction and division and fractions all these terms are related to max what are they the elf asked patrick here sit down beside me you simply must guide me who just uh, help me guide me who said elf you sit beside me beside me near me and you just guide me help me else that is the case of max so in when while doing max homework else said patrick to sit near him and find out the answers by doing addition subtraction multiplication and all the tables then next subject come that what's it yells no nothing of human history next subject human history to them it's a mystery mystery means we don't know something behind it something difficult to understand so else don't know anything about human history it's something mystery for them so the little elf already a shouter just go louder again he made a loud noise and say go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too so you go fast to the library then you bring the books relating to human history then you should read it loudly our patrick was in a big trap or oh, got it so three subjects he did the homework which is the first subject english while doing english our elf told patrick to bring the dictionary find out its meanings find out its pronunciation while doing maths he want to bring out or say the tables the multiplication all the things relating to maths when come to the history what did he say he wanted to bring the books relating to the history and read it loudly so everything patrick had done it seventh passage as a matter of fact every day in every way that little elf was a nag what do you mean by nag harassing troubling making difficulties nag nag means harass so our little elf become a harass to our patrick it become a troublesome person to patrick patrick was working harder than ever and it was a drag it was a drag means dull it was it become an inter uninteresting thing for him because our elf shouted loudly bring it say it read it like that it become a dull and uninteresting thing to patrick for doing all these homeworks he was staying up nights had never felt so weary very means tired and was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry what do you mean by puffed and blurry that means he wanted to sit late nights to complete his homework so he lost his sleep and his eyes become red so that shows his tiredness that way he completed all his homework finally the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go so the last day all the homeworks has completed and now the elf was free so 
he fled from there we can say like that as for homer there was no more so he quietly and slyly a new word for you slyly slyly s l slyly means secretly he secretly secretly he slid slipped out from there who our elf or out of the back door okay so up to that let's talk. let's wait for the next what happened next how was it uh, resulted was it a good result did he achieve that's in the next class okay so today we learned about how he had completed his homework with the help of an elf he completed his three subjects english maths and human history then he sat for late nights and completed and he gone to his schools with his puffed and blurry eyes what happened next let's see on the next class okay uh, so you have two activities today again from the beginning to eighth passage you want to read at three times okay from the beginning not today's portion from the beginning you have to read three times then find out the difficult words and find out its meanings from the dictionary and do it okay i hope you will do it so then only you can improve your language your communication so whenever you learn new words that will increase your vocabulary then only you can use it in your communication i hope you will do it so let's stop here thank you have a nice day